Hey folks, on today's tips, tricks, and tidbits, Scott and I wanted to talk a little bit with you about Makati's, about how to use them, what they are, and uh, really the essence of what a Makati is, is it's just a rope. It could be made out of horse hair, it could be made out of uh, just, a, just a piece of rope, it could be made out of nylon, braided parachute cord, lots of different things, and these are really nothing but a great tool. And so there's different ways that people get exposed to these but uh, we wanted to give you some ideas today on how they're used. And if you notice, Scott and I got two different setups here. Scott's in a snaffle setup, he's got some slobber straps there, and then I'm in a hackamore setup using a bozelle with a hanger and then the Makati tied in. Hey, an old cowboy rumor is, is that Makate means reins and lead rope. And so that this is a great tool to use, but to use any tool, you gotta know how a tool works. Uh, so one of the first things I'll show you today is really how to adjust your Makate and your lead rope. Uh, this makes a lunge line. Uh, I can use this lead rope to climb off my horse and do a little groundwork to send him. Uh, it works good to send my horse behind me as I'm on a trail keep him a ways back. But the other thing that it is, it's, it's, it's adjustable. And it's adjustable in this knot right here that your lead rope's hooked to. So if I need to lunge my horse on a long line, I can just work this through just like that. And I can pull that up here through my slobber straps. And my lead rope just changed from about a 10 foot lead rope to about a 16 foot lead rope. And I can use that to lunge my horse into a big outside circle. This is totally adjustable, and when it's up like this, it's out of the way. So folks, a lot of times we, uh, when you're running a Makate, you get confused about what to do with your lead rope. And uh, there's, there's a number of different ways to get your lead rope up out of the way when you're riding. Uh, the, probably the easiest way for most people, if you're not roping and you're just gonna ride in the arena for a bit or, or uh, you know, go on a trail ride, is just to put that up over your saddle horn like that, and then put a, another half hitch up there. This is a clove hitch. So if you need to learn how to tie that knot, it would be in, in anywhere as a clove hitch, and you can put another one on if you need to. Put it up there like that. If, if that's not the way you'd like to do it, and it, it is probably not the way I would typically do it, I will just coil my lead rope up, same kind of size, about a six inch coil, and I adjust it so that it is in the, about the same droop as my rein would be when I was riding my horse on a loose rein, and I would tie uh, my lead rope up with my saddle strings. One of the reasons we have saddle strings on western saddles, saddle strings on uh, trail saddles, is so you can tie your lead rope up. An easy knot for anybody to tie would be a square knot right here. Right over left, uh, left over, over right here like that. There's a couple other knots you can tie. There's one that's a kind of a quick release. You just pull it and it comes off knot. But uh, a square knot would be one for most of us that would work pretty good. The other way, and probably the last one that I would typically do, but the one that you'll see a lot of guys do, is they'll tuck this into their belt or into their leggings, into their shaps. And uh, I try to fold mine and pull it through. Don't pull the whole thing through. I would like to be able to get undone if I needed to. I'm gonna be real careful that I don't make my loops real big. I just tucked this up in my belt and I took two small pulls right here, giving me control of this, but also when I need it out, it can come out. I can get free of my horse if I need to. So just a different way to use this tool. If you notice here, little different setup on the hackamore side, but we still can do some of the same sorts of things. You can adjust your lead rope through your hackamore if you want to change how it's tied. But I'm going to show you another little way to tie uh, your hackamore up with the Makati so that you have access to your lead rope and it's secure in a way that you can tie your horse. So what I've done is I've taken the rein portion of 
my hackamore down and I'm going to just take it and go over my horse's neck and I'm going to position it so it's up across for her it's by her pole there uh, by her bridle path and I'm going to take this tail the loop and I'm just going to do a wrap around that first strand then I'm going to take my lead rope and run it through that little hole that's made and when that pulls down tight against the heel knot, it's secure right here underneath the heel knot. And now I've got a good way of leading my horse or if I wanted to lunge or something like that. But when I pull on this, it's gonna put pressure up here rather than uh, the Bozell pushing forward and hitting them right here in their chin groove. And so this is a really good little way. It's a way among ways of using your Makati effectively with your hackamore. A whole nother idea is if you've got a horse that's broke to hobble, you can actually use your Makati as a set of hobbles. And not only can you hobble with it, you can hobble with it while your horse is still wearing the piece of gear. So what I'm doing in this case is I'm gonna take this, uh, this lead and I'm gonna fold it in half. And what's gonna happen is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm gonna go around my horse's offside foot okay, around so that their foot is encircled like this. And then I'm gonna throw a couple of twists in here, like that, and then I'm gonna tie off with this tail. So let me demonstrate that for you, okay? I'm gonna get my horse's feet kind of pre-positioned even, okay? And this isn't something you wanna do, like we've been in real muddy conditions here, this may not be the best uh, place to do that, but where we're standing now is okay. And also you may not want to do this if, uh, you certainly wouldn't want to do this if your horse is not real well broke to hobble. So uh, first of all, you'll notice that my, my reins are up on the saddle horn and that's just a signal to the horse not to put their head down. Okay, so I'm gonna go around the outside or offside, I should say, front leg. Get her to step a little closer here. Okay. Put a twist and I'm going to tie off just using a quick release knot so it's easy to get undone. Slide that down and now my horse is in a set of hobbles. And I can make that as loose or as tight as I want based on how many twists I put in my Makati. This here Makati reins adjusted about right for this size horse. And um, these are so versatile that I can set this down. My horse can have lots of slack in here. I can pick these up and I can get to where I got contact. But when I'm riding, I'll have a loop to take out the slack, a loop in my hand there like that. And this loop can be on either side. Uh, typically, I want my loop to be on the outside of my corn circle, whatever circle I'm on, because I can reach down this rein and grab and pick up and pull, but I can't reach down if I have my loop in there. If I reach down, see, that doesn't work. So I would want right hand, left hand, left corner, left hand, right hand, right corner. And just a little thing, but you want to practice this a little bit, shortening up your reins and getting them to where, where they're adjusted properly. So. A way among ways, right? A way among ways. And we know that the best ways, the really good ways, are both scientifically proven and cowboy endorsed. And safe.